Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Uh, today I'm going to do as short a possible vid as possible on checkboxes. They're kind of handy. I just use them for admin mode and that's what I'm going to show you um, today. So I'm going to jump into, um, not onto this thing, I'm going to jump somewhere else. Yeah, onto my Minesweeper. Um, jumping onto the Minesweeper app here. And I've got an empty screen, and I'm just going to show how to insert a checkbox. So, controls, checkbox, and the naming convention that I go for is uh, rename chkbx and um, my test. Okay, so, and on this, you can change the text here, which is kind of handy my new text. Um, and uh, there's just a few things to, to a few features to point out and um, they, they you know i think an awful lot of the options are, are kind of the, the same you know as, as any other text box or anything like that and i'm not really going to go into those the default you can um you can set the default to be true so that would change that that'd be well potentially handy it never particularly um it's not a big concern to me one way or another um and you can do things where it does on check and um so when you check it something might happen when you select it something might happen or uncheck it i i don't particularly um uh, make use of those um all i do is i make use of the the output from there and so if i do uh if i did something like i'll just put a button on the screen say and I could put something like the visible property on the button, um, and I would do checkbox uh, my test dot value. Um, now that means that if it's um, if it's checked, then it's visible. If it's not checked, it'll disappear. Goodbye. Appears. Right. And the way in which I use that in practice is that when I have my games, I'm trying to work out what's going on in them. Or to be honest, you know, you can imagine it in in business type scenarios where you've got a complex app and you and you want to show and hide things based on whether or not you're in as um, you know, a full on developer administrator. Um, so this is how I use it. So this is the game, it's the Minesweeper game. Eventually it will come onto the screen. Uh, yeah, and currently it's in admin mode. I'm just going to take it out of admin mode. Um, in actual fact, I have the admin mode on a completely different screen. So it's quite clean from that uh, point of view. Um, but just for illustration purposes, I've got the actual um, checkbox for the admin mode on this screen. And so what I'll do is I will um, click the admin mode and that means that I can see all my little bits and pieces that I can actually click on them and go, okay, great, that's what that's doing. Oh, that's what that makes for that far and so on um and yeah for for me it was extremely useful so um if i sort of demonstrate you know you go in and out and then also um you can actually see things appearing um so in this case we've got a, a 10 by 10 grid and you can see all the bombs are but you can actually see if you press play minescreeper the very first thing that happens is it actually creates an empty grid <clears throat> and then what happens is you hit this button here and what it'll do is it'll lay a load of mines and so you can watch it <coughs> lay in the mines there and this was helpful to me because when i was trying to work out how to you know what how to how to get the you know the ones and the twos and the threes working uh, i needed a little thing up here where i could like click it and kind of go right what what okay the middle there what is that looking at it was able to sort of see that that was a number one i was able to kind of click on different things to investigate to see okay great that's got one next to it and if i click on this one here i can see that there's a one and a one and a one because that's the logic that i used uh, in order to kind of build this piece together so this is how I use admin modes. I just use it for showing and hiding things, and it, it's good enough for me. So um, I probably didn't um, dwell on um, the actual output of um, the admin mode. Uh, sorry, the button, uh, the checkbox rather. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that if I do a label, pop that in there, and I do checkbox um, my test dot value then you actually see that it says uh, true 
and by contrast it might say false and that's all it does it just gives you a true and a false so hopefully that's of use to you in your games and your um and your business apps and um see you again soon cheers bye